looking at a helicopter flying above stranded boaters on the Susquehanna Flats in Harford County. A rescue that requires a hoist is not uncommon in this area. It happens routinely. Um, usually it, it can be unexpected, um, but normally based on the weather, uh, you can kind of anticipate that something might be happening. Officers Ivan Wade and Brian Walter took us out to show us why the area is peculiar and often dangerous. This side can be shallow, where this side could be a, a foot and a half, two foot deeper. We went right up to the shallow area, similar to what hunters hit last month when they needed Maryland State Police Corporal Christy Peterson and her team to lift them about 100 feet in the air with a helicopter. It was cold and dark, temperatures were dropping, um, it's winter. They were waterfowl hunters that we rescued, so they weren't totally planning on spending the night out here on the water. It can go from three feet to six inches in a matter of a couple seconds, depending upon where the tide's at. In fact, five people needed a lift the day after Thanksgiving. Three waterfowl hunters and two volunteer firefighters also got stuck while trying to rescue them. Is there a common theme that you're seeing once they run aground? It's going to be a combination of the low tide and the high winds and then maybe not being adequately prepared for what they're going to en encounter and then they could be out here for a long time because everybody has a hard time getting to them. You know, whether it's us or a local fire company, there's, there's going to be challenges trying to, to get out to them. They say even the depth finder can fool you. The depth finder is going to read off the stern of the boat it doesn't help if you're going forward for the bow of the boat. So you, it's the going slow and it's the common knowledge of the area. Whether the fishermen that are out here all the time and they're guessing and checking, they go slow, they use nautical charts, they have GPS on their boat to figure all this stuff out. Joe Kennedy, a longtime commercial waterman who was catching blue cats when we did a ride along, can attest to the need to be aware of the area. That's all it is, under an experience, I would say. Not all of them. There's a mistake made once in a while. But it's all the sediment coming down from the Susquehanna, and as it comes out from a, you know, from the raging Susquehanna at times, it comes out to this wide delta, and then it dumps all the sediment. So it can be changing as well. You know, it can be getting uh, the sediment carried down, or it could be creating you know, islands or, or flat areas that weren't there previously. The officers want you to know you also won't see many channel markers in this area to warn you about how shallow it gets so quickly. So any of the hunters or fishermen that are coming out here, just pay attention to the tide table, low tide, high tide. Pay attention to the wind, small craft advisories, which was the last incident that we had. Corporal Peterson says they've rescued eight people off the flats this year. There was another incident in January and one in May. The choices made um, by boaters and anyone in general um, affect us coming out and having to rescue you. Um, situations can become difficult in an instant. Spoken by the woman behind the hoist. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.